Two son. How does it feel to be the only daycare attendant to the daycare anymore? It must be hard. Well, I won't deny it. Being the only daycare attendant to the place is hard. But I can manage. It's not really hard. Once you get the hang of it. Son, what activities do you have the kids do during their stay in the daycare? We do lots of activities here. We mostly do coloring and painting after playing around in the playground. But we do lots of other things too. Like watching educational videos and doing puppet shows. This one is named Luna. The children absolutely love him. The children also take naps once they're tired out. Of course, I'm the one in charge. <sighs> now that Mooney's gone... Tucson, what is the most stressful part of working at the daycare? Ma'am, please. I told you, I demand to talk to the manager. And I keep on telling you, ma'am. I'm technically the manager of... I don't care. I want to speak to the manager. <sighs> Lady, whether you like it or not, Sonny is the manager and head of... That is just a stupid piece of metal. That is not a person. That's a piece of junk. <sighs> that is not a freaking manager. I demand Do not kill anyone, there are children present. So to son! Hello, son! I do hope this day has been treating you well. I had a question, if you don't mind me asking. How does the staff treat you? If any staff is rude to you, please call me and I'll kick their behind. Oh my! Thank you, Sunshine! But the staff here treats me nicely, so there's no need for violence. They usually keep to themselves, and they don't get in the way of work when in the daycare. I don't usually interact with them, but whenever I do, they are always polite and nice to me. I have no problems with them. There is one staff who absolutely gets on my nerves. Vanessa is just so rude! She's always scolding me and always so angry when I haven't even done anything wrong! Thank goodness she doesn't come here often. Just being around her gets on my nerves. For son, have you ever had a deal with teenagers? Like age 60 to 70. I love the way you smile, by the way. Oh, I've dealt with lots and lots of teenagers, despite the fact that I'm a daycare attendant. Most of the people working here are mostly people in their late teens. So I get to work with teenagers a lot of times. Not to mention the countless teenagers who pick up their younger siblings here in the daycare. They're all so nice. I always enjoy interacting with them, even if it's brief and short. I really like teenagers. I heard the older workers complain about them all the time, but they're all nice. The worst I encountered are huffy teens who ignore me, but I can handle that. Honestly, the adults I talk to on a daily basis are way worse. Or Sunny, I've seen that you aren't very good with the wire that Moon uses to fly. Have you started learning how to use it so that you can fly around without disturbing kids during nap time? Hope you're doing well! Well, me and Moon have different functions and strengths when it comes to our design. While Mooney can use his wires, I have my own functions. I can climb even in places you can't climb on. It's very useful for nap times. I can crawl on the ceilings to get to children who need me without disturbing anyone. So I don't need to learn how to use the wires Mooney used. I'm content with how I deal with nap time as it is. Tucson, how are you dealing with the e eclipse situation? Uh, what? The eclipse situation? Yes, uh, that is me. That is my name, little star. Uh, oh, I didn't... I didn't know that. I'm offended, little star. And here I thought we were actually friends. Fair warning, this is just a temporary setup. I don't intend to use this name forever. So, try not to get used to it. Alright, little star. This is tape 16. Progress on repairs for Sun have been slow. As usual, by now, we've run into another roadblock. The jaw latch is stuck in an open position. Why do you even keep making those dumb recordings? It's for us to keep track of all the things that need fixing. Good, just write it on a piece of paper, instead of wasting all of our available tapes. You know, I have a hard time with paper note. Yeah, that's what you always say. Now, do you want to come and actually help me fix the latch? Okay, okay, I'm coming.
Coming. The latch seems to be... Do you think it's... Unlikely. The boss wanted those removed anyway. Said it was dangerous for the children. I personally don't know why any kid would want to stick their limbs into his mouth to begin with. Seems he's being overall cautious, considering the reputation of Sun's counterpart. I don't know. It just feels like he's trying too hard. I mean, when's the last time you've heard of an animatronic biting off a kid's finger? Fair enough, but I'd never put it past one... Two Sun! Got any love advice? I could really use some. Oh, well, I don't... I don't know why you're asking me. I'm just a daycare attendant. I don't know much about love. Um... Eclipse? Don't look at me. I also don't know anything about love. I'm very sorry, Sunshine. We're stumped. To Sun, how do you handle all the stress that can come with working as a daycare attendant? Oh! This is an easy one! I push it all away and ignore it. If I ignore hard enough, it'll go away! Ah, uh, so that's what's happening to your... moon situation? That's... 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 That's different. Tucson, how do you feel about this new animatronic slash glitch slash whatever that thing is? Oh, you mean Eclipse? He's... an interesting character. I will admit that I am somewhat scared of him. But I believe that he has a good heart in there. Hopefully. To Sun, if you had the chance to see Moon again, what would you do first? Like give him a hug or something? M moony If I have the chance to see Moon again... Then. Well, 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 missing Mooney, aren't we? Oh, I thought we were over him. Eclipse? I... I don't miss Mooney. Is that so? I find it hard to believe. I'm serious. I don't miss him. Mooney was a horrible person who hurt so many people, including the children we're caring for. They're a meanie who acted like they're better than everybody. They pushed everyone away. They pushed me away when all I wanted was to help them. I just... All I wanted... I just wished to help him. To Eclipse, what is your motivation? Well, that is for me to know and for you to find out. Isn't that right? Well, let's see. I could give you a hint or two. Obviously, I won't reveal too much. I know how you all are little snitches. Especially with Sun involved. Let's just say, I intend to take something that I think should be mine. Does my answer satisfy? To Sun, how are you feeling with these glitches? Have you told anyone about them? Well, to be fair, the glitches aren't that bad once you get used to them. So far, it hasn't gotten in the way of my work. Eclipse doesn't even attack when I'm working. He isn't that bad. He's just very annoying. Worst. What? Hey! What? Annoying, you say? I'm hurt, little star. Is that what you think of me? Wait, Eclipse? Uh, I didn't mean. <laughs> Look at you. All part and yet no bite. Pathetic. Eclipse! Is that right? Well, 
not exactly, sir. Then what do you want to tell me? The daycare animatronics. Uh, me and the head engineer think it's best if we do some more tests before we allow it to be opened to the general public. The amount of glitches and accidents that have been occurring with this model during its repair and restoration process have been far greater than the other four models. So, we think it would be best... Best for what? For us to lose even more money because one of our star attractions was having issues during its repairs? You told me that all of the repairs were finished last week. That's not what I mean, sir. The repairs are done. We just need to perform a few more tests before we feel comfortable letting it. You were given a deadline to have all the repairs done before the opening day. You've had plenty of time to finish with any tests you wish to perform. And now, you wish to delay it further because you couldn't use your time more wisely? Sir, please. No. I'm sick and tired of being further delayed on this. You are going to open up the daycare center tomorrow. You can perform your tests after hours during the regular maintenance inspection. But sir, we won't get accurate readings for the amount of time between inspections. I don't care. You either do what I say, or you can walk out. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Good. Now get out of my office. Not quite, but you are getting there. What happened? You fell from the hanging bridge in your own daycare. You scared a lot of children today. Wait, the children? They're fine. No one was hurt. Most of them are worried for you, though. Oh. I'm more worried about you, Sonny. The fall from the bridge was not that high. You normally spring back up and survived on higher falls, but that wasn't the case for today's incident. You are physically okay. There was no damage done. But you've blacked out two times this week alone, and I'm getting worried. Do you know the cause of these blackouts? I think I'm fine, Sunshine. I'm sure it's nothing major. If anything happens, I promise I'll tell you. Thank you for helping, Eloise. Mm. Chew Eclipse, do you like Sun, or are you just there to torment him? Well, I like tormenting him. Does that answer your question? Two question mark, question mark, question mark. What should I call you? And can you off Sun if you know what I mean? Since I'm a virus, yes, I can off Sun whenever I feel like it. But honestly, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Not to mention, I need him alive. I can't get rid of him just yet. To Eclipse. Are you evil, or just a piece of code that's been... corrupted? Why can't I be both? I can be both evil and a piece of corrupted code, but I don't like to label myself, so I settle on calling myself Eclipse. Tucson, how do you deal with the intruders? Sunshine, I don't know why you're asking this to me. I'm not in charge of security. If you're curious, you should ask Vanessa. She's the one who deals with intruders. Dearest Sundrop! Oh my goodness, that's the most dear! If it isn't too insensitive of me to ask, how do you feel about the time when the lights go out without Mooney? Do you sometimes imagine him being there beside you? Well, when I first discovered about Mooney... He was very devastated if you want to know. Uh, that's rude! You didn't have to cut me off! That was my question! I get to answer! Not you! Well, I have to. We both know how you lie about your feelings once Moon is involved. Even if I was going to lie, you didn't have to cut me off and butt in the condo! You have done nothing but mock and make my life harder than it already is! I am panicked, and I hate you so much, I can do without it! <laughs> Calculated. I didn't know that I could make him snap like that. But... Um, but this isn't Sun. No, it couldn't be. It won't 
explain the glitches. I know it is not of my doing, but a different force. Could it be? Oh, this is bad. I knew she was going to come out eventually. I just didn't think she would attack this early in the game. <laughs> These contain a sleeping hormone such as melatonin. They are advertised as sleepy time candies. Although it's a sleepy time candy, my candies don't have any melatonin. Melatonin is bad for the children's development. Obviously, we won't put any of it in our products. But it's a very good place bow for the children. We don't need melatonin to make them fall asleep. To moon. What is your favorite part of being a daycare attendant? No, oh, being the daycare attendant is just wonderful. I just can't choose one. To Moon, did you get visitors or any volunteers to help you out at the daycare if you needed any help? Wouldn't it be nice for someone to help you around the daycare? I don't usually have visitors. The Pizza Plex doesn't really allow visitors. While I don't have any volunteers, I have fellow employees who are more than willing to help out. And I appreciate everyone who are willing to help me. They're all so nice and hardworking. Hey, Moon. A kid puked in the slide. I'm gonna go clean it up, so it'll be blocked for a bit. Thank you, Starlight. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just doing my job. To Moon. What do you do if the kids get caught in a fight? I need the green paint! You can't have it! It's mine! <laughs> that is enough! Time out for the both of you. To Moon. Sun used to take care of all the kids while they were awake. So, are you able to manage them too? Taking care of the kids when they're awake. It's not really easy. <laughs> Jimmy, get down from the monkey bars! Ah, oh, Bree, don't you dare pick that up! Uh, Mooney, Mooney! Uh, yes, Starlight? I pooped in the ball pit. Oh, it was, um, very difficult. That's a huge understatement. To Moon, is there anything left of the virus from Vanny? I'm not really sure. But I haven't experienced any Vanny-related episodes so far. The workers worked really hard to get rid of the virus. I'm sure it's clear for now. And it won't come back because Vanny is dead. You can't know for sure, though. It doesn't hurt to be positive. To Moon. Has a teenager ever appeared? Perhaps a brother of one of the children and started to make the children cry? If so, how did you deal with that situation? <laughs> Bye, Moon! Goodbye, Starlight. See you tomorrow. Hey, Moon. Oh, hello, Jamie. Are you here to pick up James? Yeah, parents are busy, so I'm picking him up. Of course. He is still playing, but he'll come out in a little bit. And who's this cutie? This is Xing Yan. She got overwhelmed by the loud noise, so she's staying with me in the meantime. Say hi, Starlight. Hiya, Shin Yen. Nice to meet you. My name's James. <laughs> oh, dear. I think she got spooked by your makeup. Uh, would it be all right if you step out and wait outside for James Starlight? To Moon, how do you feel about Sun emotionally? Like a friend, a brother? Sun isn't my brother. And he isn't just a friend. 
Sun is my other half. A moon cannot shine without the sun. Sun is my reason to live. Two moon. How do you feel about eclipse? I... I don't know what to feel about him. Ashley? <sighs> Ashley! Huh? What? Did you say something? Yeah, I was trying to get your attention. Have you worked around Moondrop by any chance? Which one is that again? <sighs> the daycare animatronic. Oh yeah, that one. I think I've worked with them twice when staffing was low. What about it? <sighs> well, uh... Haven't you noticed how off-putting he's been? How so? The way he acts is just so unnatural. Well, he is a robot. That's not what I mean. What I mean is that recently he's been acting strange. It's like he's talking to someone who isn't even there. Well, I don't want to judge. I've talked to myself plenty of times. It's not like that. Could you just take this seriously, please? Jeez, sorry. It's not like I was the one who barged into the break room to spout off my conspiracy theories. <laughs> they're not conspiracy theories, they're hypotheses. Yeah, whatever you say, Mike. <sighs> Look, I know there's something strange going on, but I need to do some more digging before I can come to any conclusions. So, in the meantime, I need someone I can tell my findings to without worrying about getting fired. So what you're saying is, is that you'd need me to keep your secrets for you. It would mean a lot to me. Well, I can do it. For a fee, of course. What do you want? Ten dollars. Fine. Thank you very much. And don't worry, your secrets save with me, Mike. Uh, to sing to the children. There is this one song that Sun loved to sing. I've taken to singing it to the children whenever they sleep. It starts like this. The moon will sing a song for me. I loved you like the sun. Bore the shadows that you made with no light of my own. I shine only with the light you gave me. I shine only with the light you gave me. Ask Eclipse. If you could, would you want your own physical body? Or are you content staying as some predatory code in the daycare systems? Oh, believe it or not, I used to have a body. I used to be a combination of sun and moon, a failsafe of some sort, uh, but I got scrapped. They tried to race me like they did to sound, oh, but I took every bit of scrap code I could get to crawl my way to where I am now! But it's neither here nor there. Let's just say I'm just trying to get what's mine. Oh, two question mark, question mark, question mark. That's me. Are you friends with Moon? We are friends, aren't we? We will never be friends. Two Moon, how do things feel now that Sun isn't here? Is it 
make things harder for you. Hope everything is okay. It's hard. It's hard to adjust being alone when I existed as a unit for as long as I can remember. Oh, that's not true. I'm here to accompany you. All you do is torture me. You know you don't count. Tamoon, have you ever found anything interesting in the back sections of the peak supplies? Like some abandoned equipment or items? Why did they remove Sun? I don't get it. Get what? Why am I still here? I was the bad one. I was the one who got infected. I was the one under Fanny's rule. I was the aggressive one. I have blood on my hands. I killed children. I hurt my friends. I made Sun disappear! I heard Sun. You're right. You're dangerous. It's a wonder no one still hasn't died yet. What? Sun deserved to live. He was the good one. The one who wasn't a monster. You, on the other hand, are more volatile. Your risk. All it takes is one bad day. It's all your fault. You're... You're right. It really is my fault. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. Hello, Ashley speaking. Ashley? It's me. Oh, hey, Mike. What's going on? It's a bit late for a call, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. But, um... I've done some more digging with the tech team, and... We found some pretty disturbing stuff. What did you find? <sighs> Backstage stuff, unexplained viruses, accidents swept under the rug, a mountain of complaints... <laughs> the list just keeps going, Ash. It's all real shifty. So... is this another call to bribe me not to tell my boss? Because if it is, I want a raise. <laughs> How's 50 sound? Deal. The tech team and I are planning a walkout. Recording, Ash. The world needs to know what's going on in here. What about your Fazbear Entertainment NDA? Won't you get in trouble for spilling the news? Yeah, well, fuck the NDA. Children are going missing. This is bigger than any of us, Ashley. Someone has to do something. So, this will all be public soon, huh? And this will likely be the last time we talk then, won't it? Sadly, yes. Unless you wanted to walk out with us. Walk out with you? Mike, this job here is all I've got and- It's your choice. You can walk out of this hellhole and be a part of something bigger. Or stay here, fully aware of what they're doing behind closed doors. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Where did you want to meet? Let's at least talk. Meet me and the tech team at the employee lounge by the food court, just to your left. All right. I'll see you there then. Bye, Mike. Till Moon, do you do patrols at night? And are the glitches affecting that? So far, I can still do my patrols without any eclipse intervention. I think Eclipse knows I take my job seriously, so he probably respects that and leaves me alone. I always look forward to nights like this, because he isn't... <sighs> You're behind me, aren't you? <laughs> Why are you even here? 
You barely go out of the daycare. I got bored and I wanted to annoy you. So the usual then. You know you can just wait for me in the daycare. Where's the fun in that? At least you won't be a distraction. That's... weird. What? Can't handle a little darkness? You're being weird. What's... what's that? Eclipse? What's that? Uh. Eclipse! of you to come out as soon as the danger disappears. I was next to you the whole time. Not my fault you ignored me. If you were next to me, a little help would be nice. And why would I help you? <sighs> You're impossible. I would rather throw myself to the bunny than deal with you. Bunny? Interesting. Didn't even sense an ounce of Vanny virus in the system, and yet... The bunny, it appeared... Oh, what is it? Is it another virus? Oh, but why did it manage to cut our communication? Moon didn't even see me when the bunny was around. If it keeps appearing, it could be bad for my plans. It could disrupt Dustin, or potentially harm me. Oh, we can't have that. I just need to keep Moon in the daycare in the meantime. It's better safe than sorry. I'm sure Moon will understand. All we have to do is wait and see what it will do. Hopefully, it won't cause too much of a problem for us. Mike! 